Intrigue of the day. What products are really not worth your money? The whole truth about American sites. Many products on popular sites are not worth their money. How do marketers deceive us? And which products should you avoid? Our investigation will show you how not to fall victim to beautiful pictures and loud promises. Hey beauty enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a detailed review of Ipsy's monthly beauty subscription service. But before we get into it, I want you to share your own experiences with Ipsy in the comments below. Your insights are incredibly valuable to our community. And stay tuned till the end, because I've got some interesting details about their current promotions. Let's get started. You've probably heard of Ipsy, the personalized beauty box that's all the rage. But is it really worth the hype? Today, I'm going to give you the lowdown, starting with the aspects that might make you think twice. One of the most noticeable drawbacks of Ipsy is the repetition of products. Many subscribers have reported receiving the same type of items in consecutive boxes. For example, you might find yourself with an overabundance of mascara or lip gloss, even if your beauty profile suggests a broader range of interests. This repetition can be particularly frustrating for long-term subscribers who look forward to discovering new products and trends. Ipsy prides itself on personalizing beauty boxes based on individual preferences. However, the accuracy of this customization is often inconsistent. Subscribers sometimes receive products that are far removed from their indicated preferences, such as receiving bold makeup colors when they've indicated a preference for neutral tones. This mismatch can lead to disappointment and a feeling that the personalization algorithm isn't as sophisticated as it should be. While Ipsy offers products worth up to $70 for a starting price of $14 a month, there's a discrepancy in the perceived value of these products. Some months, the box contents seem to fall short of the promised value, especially when factoring in the size of the products. Many items are sample-sized, which can be a letdown for those expecting full-sized products. This inconsistency in value can make subscribers question the cost-effectiveness of the service. Shipping and delivery have also been points of contention. Subscribers have experienced delays in receiving their boxes, with some boxes arriving much later than expected. This inconsistency in delivery times can be a significant inconvenience, especially for those who eagerly anticipate their monthly beauty fix. When it comes to customer service, Ipsy's performance is a mixed bag. While some subscribers report positive experiences, others have faced challenges in resolving issues related to their subscription. Difficulties in canceling subscriptions, addressing billing issues, or getting satisfactory responses to queries can be frustrating. This lack of consistent, high-quality customer support can detract from the overall experience with the brand. While Ipsy does feature products from well-known and emerging brands, the selection can sometimes feel limited in terms of brand diversity. Subscribers might notice a tendency towards certain brands being featured repeatedly, which can limit exposure to a wider range of products and brands in the beauty industry. For beauty enthusiasts looking to explore a broad spectrum of brands, this can be a significant drawback. In today's world, where environmental and ethical considerations are increasingly important, Ipsy's approach to these issues is somewhat unclear. The use of sample size products raises questions about packaging waste and sustainability. Additionally, there's limited transparency regarding the ethical sourcing and production of the products featured in their boxes. For eco-conscious consumers, this lack of clarity can be a concern. Ipsy's product range tends to be heavily makeup-centric. While this might appeal to makeup enthusiasts, it can be limiting for subscribers who are more interested in skincare, hair care, or other beauty categories. This focus on makeup can lead to a lack of variety in the types of products offered, which might not align with the diverse interests of their subscriber base. Another area for improvement is how Ipsy integrates subscriber feedback into their service. While there is a mechanism for rating products, it's unclear how effectively this feedback influences future boxes. Greater transparency and responsiveness to subscriber preferences could enhance personalization and satisfaction. Customers are also not always happy with the partnership, and here are some of the most common negative reviews on Trustpilot. This website has become even more of a nightmare since they partnered with BoxyCharm. First of all, they ask you five several times if you're sure you want to cancel. Yes, I'm sure. Then send you a confirmation email. It's impossible to find. And to top it off when you use Afterpay and need to return something you can't because the email address Afterpay has on file is an old BoxyCharm email that is now unmonitored. So if you pay your bill through an app like Shop or Afterpay, especially when you need to return something, how are you supposed to talk to anyone? The survey does nothing except match you to your skin tone. No matter how crazy I tell them I want my product's colors to be, I get the same boring nude shades. I also get the same brands every single time. Every time I try to cancel a subscription, they make it incredibly difficult. 
The UI is designed to trick you and make you star over and get frustrated and give up. Then they never send you the confirmation email. It's exhausting. Finally, they try and charge you over the weekend to make you miss the grace period, hoping you won't notice. No way to personalize the box like they said we could. We were told the first to the third was our dates. They don't care about your personal profile. They are trying to send old lady stuff to a 14-year-old. They already billed me for this box, even though it hasn't been made yet. Customer service is a bot. It's not a good bot. It's ignorant about simple questions and throws out links that don't apply. Looking for something better. But wait, it's not all doom and gloom in the world of Ipsy. Let's switch gears and talk about some of the positives. One of the highlights of Ipsy is the excitement of receiving a beauty box each month. It's like getting a surprise gift. And who doesn't love surprises? Plus, the products are often from well-known and up-and-coming beauty brands, giving you a chance to discover new favorites. Also, the exclusive access to epic deals up to 80% off is a big plus. If you're a beauty product junkie, these deals can be a great way to stock up on your favorites or try something new without breaking the bank. Speaking of deals, Ipsy is currently offering five beauty products worth up to $1.70, starting at just $1.14 a month. And the best part? You can cancel anytime, so there's no long-term commitment. So there you have it, a mixed bag of pros and cons with Ipsy's beauty subscription service. It's a great way to explore new beauty products, but keep in mind the issues with product repetition and customization. Don't forget to share your own experiences with Ipsy in the comments below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for tuning in, and if you found this review helpful, give us a like, share your thoughts, and subscribe for more honest beauty reviews. See you in the next video.